Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Mr. Clutch, back here on the Mr. Clutch Sportscast. Um, if you watched any sports at all last night, I'm sure you have probably heard by now that the American League wildcard game was played and you know the winner is moving on to Cleveland. Uh, and the winner was the New York Yankees. Um, and if you saw highlights of the first inning of that game, you probably thought, as I did, that there was a very good possibility that either side could and would put up at least 10 runs by like the fifth inning maybe even earlier than that uh, so yeah I thought I would break that down a little bit uh, and really it's it's like I said a couple days ago the Yankees bullpen is very very deep um, you have Tommy Canely Dave Robertson, or David Robertson, don't quite know his name, um, Dylan Batances, when he's on, he's arguably the best reliever in baseball, Aroldis Chapman, when he's on, he's one of the best, you know, one of the best, uh, closers in baseball, uh, then there's Chad Green, who had to come on in the first. And, oh, funny note by, uh, you know, just a fun fact. Uh, the starting pitchers, when a combined two and a third innings, yeah, Luis Severino went a third, which means he got one out out of three in the first, and then he was lifted. Uh, Joe Girardi said, uh-uh. I am putting up with that. Uh, and honestly, he just he didn't have his slider. He he let the nerves get to him, and he had no control of his slider. And it really wasn't doing a lot anyway. It was mostly just floating. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Irvin Santana went two innings, gave up four runs. Luis Severino gave up three. Um, and like I said, only got the one out. Uh, so that means the bullpens combined for Minnesota and the Yankees. The Yankees went eight and two-thirds in their bullpen. And the Twins went seven. 15 and two-thirds, if I'm doing my math right. That's how many innings both bullpens pitched. Brian Kenny's dream was realized in that moment. Um, certainly not the way anybody expected that game to go. Um, but the Yankees, I mean, aside from scoring twice as many runs as the Twin... <clears throat> Excuse me, the Twins. I don't know what happened there. Um, they just... The Twins got shut down by the Yankees' bullpen. They only ga The Yankees' bullpen only gave up one run over eight and two-thirds. Um, David Robertson was probably the best out of the pitchers. Uh, three and a third, five strikeouts, one walk. I think three hits, maybe. Uh, Chad Green came on, struck out four, walked two, had an earned run, but it was, you know, by the end of the great at the end of the game, it was inconsequential. Um, Tommy Canely came on, pitched I think two. I'm trying to remember all the all the innings pitched. I think Tommy Canely went two. No. 
I don't know. See, that's that's the amazing thing too. The Yankees bullpen only exhausted four pitchers. And two of them were closers. David Robertson is a closer by nature. He was the Chicago White Sox closer before he got traded to the Yankees. And Araldness Chapman obviously came down, shut down the ninth. Um, he did his thing, struck out three batters. All three. Uh, he did give up a Joe Maurer single, but again, at that point, it was. The game was over, pretty much. Um, I mean, the Twins. The Twins had a lot of pressure on them to begin with, and nobody thought they were going to win. Um,. But they put a lot of pressure on themselves, I think, to win. Irvin Santana, uh, I think, said the night before, the night or the day before the game, that, yeah, I know I'm 0-5 in six games at Yankee Stadium with an outrageous ERA above six. Um, but tomorrow night's going to be win number one. Well, he he didn't even get to the third inning. So that shows you how well that went. Um, the big question now for the Yankees is going into tomorrow, that's the first ALDS matchup, uh, Yankees at Indians, how will the Yankees manage their bullpen? Because Robertson threw 51 or 2 pitches, so he's going to be tired still, even though it was Monday. No, it was Tuesday. I'm stupid. Um, sorry, that was mental block. Got that out of the way. Uh, he, so he's still going to be tired. And Canely might not be as sharp. Because, again, he went two. Chad Green went two and a third, I think. No, he went two. Green went two. Robertson went three and a third. Canely went two and a third. And then Raldness went one. I got it. All righty. Uh, but, yeah, that's, good. that's a big question for... The Yankees, obviously the Indians don't have to worry about that because they got the number one seed and home field advantage throughout the American League playoffs. So they didn't have to play anybody on Tuesday. Um, the Yankees' bats really uh, really came alive in the clutch. Didi Gregorius, Yankee shortstop. Aaron Judge, Yankees' phenomenal right fielder. Um, and... Brett Gardner, the Yankees' left fielder, all hit home runs. Um, and really, another issue for the Yankees could be that only their top four guys in the order did the major damage against the Twins and is the primary reason that they won. Um, the top four were Brett Gardner, in order, Brett Gardner, Aaron Judge, Garrett, yeah, Gary Sanchez and Didi Gregorius. They all had at least one hit. And they they did damage on the runs too. The bottom five through nine hitters went had only two hits and an RBI. Actually, two hits, two RBIs. Because of the RBI walk. I forgot about that. Um, so, yeah. Those are my thoughts on the American League wildcard game. Congratulations to the Yankees, though. Um, it was a well... well <laughs> I'd say well-played game. But the Yankees' bullpen was phenomenal. Um, so, they... If there will be... Uh, if there were a player of, players of the game for the American League wildcard. Chad Green, 
David Robertson, and Tommy Canely. By far, players of the game. So, yeah. Um, one note. Tomorrow, should be tomorrow, um... I will do an episode like this on the National League wild card, which is being played as we speak. Uh, I'll watch it sometime in the afternoon and make a video on it later. Um, I'm getting alerts. Not right now, but I have been getting alerts, and apparently it's quite a competitive game. So... Uh, that should be tomorrow, and then obviously coming up this weekend, we have more playoff baseball, more college football to get to. My Wolverines, number seven ranked Wolverines against the Michigan State Spartans. Um, I think that's going to be the only game I talk about in terms of college football. But anyway, you guys should definitely stick around for that. And as always, well, as of like yesterday's episode if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i would appreciate it uh if you generally like what i'm saying or think i'm somewhat knowledgeable <laughs> subscribe i'd also appreciate that um and spread the word spread the word about this channel about its awesomeness about this beautiful clock behind me And also my fairly not knowledgeable self, even though I can't talk right now. Uh, but that is it for this episode. The playoffs have officially begun. I think I titled an episode that already, but now they really have officially begun because the game has been played. So, and yes, the wild card is still a part of the playoffs. You guys have questions about that. Anyways, as always, I'm Mr. Clutch signing off and saying I'll see you guys on the flip side.